right here is a picture of the head prepped and ready to go on. I see under um, under that cam cap and to the left there's a plug. To the right of that there's your fitting. On the front of that head you got two plugs. You got to make sure that you get those in before you drop that on there. Uh, that was a picture of the Permatex uh, gasket maker. Uh, this is the gasket that goes underneath the spacer plate and you coat that with the Permatex. There's there's a picture of the plug that um, that's the oil passage one I'm pointing at. Uh, and I think right, just these are all the grommets for too. the water. And you got to make sure seal. those are that. in there. This is some pretty good video. I actually video commented on it. Lower gasket, doing this. but what the numbers just say? Hopefully, I'm not talking over myself too bad. There's two of these, one on top, uh, one underneath this plate, and of course. Oh, let's see that thin pain. gasket I showed you that lower was, gasket was already was underneath right. that plate and that O-ring that I showed you. There's another O-ring on that dowel and under that plate. And I, I always look at them a lot of times All my seals <laughs> because once the head's uh, torqued base. down on there, you don't want to be thinking, finding it on your bench. It's just showing everything the prepped. There's where I rubbed that on with. How I did it. Bottom of my head's clean. Clean. And just clean. Supposed we to steam them off. There's always down. water and stuff Three, dripping off there, and you hate here. that when you're about to go on with your gasket. This is really uh, comical, and so I hope I know I'm not talking right here in the video, and hopefully I didn't talk over myself too much. This, uh, but here I'm putting these <clears throat> large heel bars in here to line me up, and see I'm being really careful not to just drop them through there and hurt my gasket, um, um, especially the fire rings uh, go on the uh, edge of the liners there that seal the compression but uh, I probably could get some better ones get some bolts may you know maybe rig some of those longer bolts up somehow from the, you know used ones off the head but uh, here you got some play and using those heel bars they're not as thick as the bolt holes so um, I'm trying to tap that over to drop onto the dowel and it's just not doing it and a lot of times it won't and sometimes it's almost like it'll drop on one but it won't drop on the back one or you you know vice versa and you'll be bouncing around flopping around trying to get it and figure out why um, it won't go down and it's just such a tight uh, fit you know um, here I'm just looking, trying to figure out what am I doing wrong? Dang, can I get a take two on this or what? I'm like, <laughs> it's always worse when you're uh, someone's watching or uh, you're videoing. You know? But I, I thought I could just wobble it on there and it would drop into place, but of course it didn't. Uh, that boom, I really hate that boom really bouncy there's kind of an electric motor that runs it and it's real jerky and bouncy but eventually here you see that I just go and get my mallet you get a soft mallet and uh, they were right in place but it was just a real tight fit you know? and uh, took a few taps I believe And that's how it goes sometimes. Coming up here is uh Well, it's just realistic. They don't always go right down. The This is the pattern, the bolt pattern that you're supposed to torque it down with. Um, we do about 370 foot-pounds.